It's like the smile. Um, it's not a joyful smile. It's not a happy smile. It's not a glad smile. Um, it's not a really, a, it's not any, a smile at all, not, nothing of a good feeling. And it's like, uh, it's a taunting kind of <clears throat> bothersome thing. And uh, I don't like it. I don't trust it. And I keep trying to wipe it off, but it won't go away. It's like it's, get, it's just trying to make itself strong, and I don't want it to be strong. Um, it's, uh, it's that type of smile that was implanted there uh, and a destructive, deceitfully, uh, mockery, demising kind of way, and many other words that I can use. Uh, I've been searching like online as to like find an answer for it. And I haven't found anything online, but it just don't feel right. It don't sit right. And I keep trying to wash it off, brush it off, and it won't go away. It feels mockery to me. Uh, but I guess the best example that I can get is probably a better one. But the best one I can get is when you remember when the Joker, the Joker was... Uh, uh, a bad villain, but you remember the, uh, when he fell into the, that toxic waste, or whether uh, I think he fell or Batman uh, pushed him into the toxic waste. I can't remember or recall. Uh, he was still evil. He was still wicked when he went in, that toxic waste. But when he came out, he had an expression on his face um, that that, toxic, that toxicity did something to him to where no matter what he did, whether he was mad, angry, sad, depressed, or what, that expression itself stayed on his face. So it looks like he was just happy all the time. Uh, that's where somebody just wicked. Now, if I can apply that to someone who's not wicked, to somebody who's been in an abusive environment, or rather born into an abusive environment, and raised a certain way. Um, again, like um, um, setting up idols and stuff, tearing down what God had built and uh, setting up their own God, setting up their own idols and stuff, in which case a lot of things are like that are being done to children, sacrificing them and stuff, you know. This is what God says, but you're going to go around, you're going to bypass God and try to tear that child down and set up your own kingdom. When God instilled within that child his kingdom from the time of uh, uh, their conception. And uh, so when you take a good person, yeah, or a person who's been abused and you throw them in that toxicity, that toxicity being um, the abusers, the wicked, the narcissists, you know, the spots, the pestilence, the darkness, darkness also meaning ignorance. And you put someone um, of a light that it's not of those things into some into that type of toxicity and they come up with a smile like the joker on their face and they just can't get rid of it and so it becomes irritating it becomes bothersome it becomes abnormal it becomes uh intrusive it becomes uh mockery and again so many other words and it's like you can't get rid of it they're abusing me but here's that that stupid joker smile on your face you can't get rid of uh it's kind of like that pointing it's like that that tip of the iceberg to where you start questioning yourself or you i rather question myself but i'm losing it i'm about to lose it because this is mockery to me i have a smile on my face that was implanted on me by the toxicity i was in and i don't know how to get rid of it it's just stuck there so Not only am I dealing with what they're doing and have done and still trying to do, 
I have to deal with what I see in the mirror of the stuff they implanted on me, the 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 residue, the 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 Joker face, all that. So if I had to describe that kind of smile, that's the way I would describe it. Uh, it's there, but it's not you. And uh, mm-hmm. because of the toxicity, you don't know what it will take to get it, get rid of it, to get it off of you. So, yeah, that's my way of describing it. And uh, I closed it. I recall in 2018 with me and my son, I think it was, yeah, 2018. Me and my son was in, uh, when we were definitely doing a lot of running, trying to get away from our abusers. And we ended up in Tampa, Florida. And I talk about this in another video as it leads up to Tampa, Florida. So it's in there. I don't have it posted, but it's in there. But anyway, we were in Tampa, Florida, and uh, I was on the bus, and I saw this woman sitting, and this was in the summer, and this was, yeah, in the month of June. And this woman was yeah, sitting, yeah. yeah, next to us on the other side. Uh, me and my son were on the left side. She was on the right, this white female. And you can tell, if I look back and recall, you can tell she's been abused. But she had that same expression on her face that she was trying to get rid of, that was ensnared within her that she couldn't get rid of, that, that joker smile, that tipping of the iceberg to where she's like, She's trying to hold on, trying to get rid of that, 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 that poison toxicity that was placed on her. But that joker smile, it's there as a reminder uh, from, from her and our abusers that say, you will never forget this. We will always be there. I'm going to make you remember this. I'm going to make you suffer. This is one of my marks on you. And it's like that tip of the ice and birds is where, am I losing it? Am I about to lose it? Because I'm trying to um, contain this. I'm trying to control this. And it's like it's uh, trying to overtake me. It won't get off of me. So um, just wanted to talk about that as well as my explanation of that. 